Tango Robotics is a spin out of the National Robotics Engineering Center, and we primarily focus on manned ground robots and unmanned ground vehicles, uh, systems from 100 pounds to 1,000 pounds. And one of the core technologies and capabilities for unmanned ground robots is to be able to perceive the world in three dimensions, in 3D. Uh, we build a line of stereo cameras that perceive 3D information the exact same way that people do, uh, through visual understanding of the scene in front of them. Unlike alternate approaches to 3D perception, these cameras don't emit anything into the environment, they're completely passive, and they just look for visual texture between these two different cameras, the left and the right, and that allows them to understand uh, the 3D scene in front of them and the depth to various features and obstacles. We use our stereo cameras on a number of the custom systems that we build, including an industrial floor cleaner, uh, outdoor autonomous agricultural systems, as well as a military robotic system that looks for IEDs, improvised explosive devices, and landmines. And in all these applications, the task uh, within the stereo camera is to create 3D information that allows these systems to operate uh, safely and effectively in these really unstructured, unknown environments. Our multi-sense stereo cameras use the Spartan 6 FPGA inside of them to do the real-time depth computation uh, to create the 3D data that these cameras produce and send to the rest of the robotic system. The Xilinx FPGA inside our multi-sense stereo cameras is actually doing 2.1 billion correspondence matches per second, and that generates 15 million points a second of 3D data. And the main advantage of using an FPGA is that we can do this really mathematically intensive correspondence problem of matching the left and the right cameras at about one-tenth the power that a normal processor takes. And reduction in the amount of computation and the amount of power needed to create this 3D data lets these systems be built with longer runtimes and lets them be physically smaller, which enables them to move more easily around their environments. We've taken the first step in reducing downstream computational impacts uh, in the generation of 3D data by moving this intense process from a CPU to the current FPGAs that we're using. The next step of that evolution is to move to a programmable system on chip that would allow more downstream processes to be moved on camera. And that has really nice benefits from size, weight, power, and latency for not just the generation of this 3D data, but the use of it in application-specific uh, tasks. When you consider an obstacle detection system, the latency of the input data is critical to the system performance. And by using an FPGA inside our cameras, we're able to generate this data with less than a frame of latency. That gives the rest of the system more time to make intelligent and safe decisions about how to navigate these environments or slow down or stop to avoid obstacles.